Hey, welcome to Series Class, a channel where we make learning so easy and affordable. If this is your first time, please subscribe, like, and comment. We want to provide an answer to this question. The diagram below shows the net of a triangular prism. And this is the net of a triangular prism. Then we should draw a triangular prism showing all the dimensions. Then we should calculate the surface area of the triangular prism. Now, something small about prism. Prism is any shape or any 3D shape that is made up of cross sections. Cross section means the shape that are being merged to get them might either be in a rectangular form, in a pentagonal form, in a square form, and so on and so forth. This one is made out of triangle, so we call it a triangular prism. Now, we see the nets. Nets are the individual shapes that are merged to get a complete shape. So here we have triangles, two triangles, and three rectangles merged to get a prism. They say we should draw a complete prism using this net to draw a complete prism. So I have my marker, I have my rule. I'm going to draw the prism, the complete prism using this net. Very good. Now, you can see two triangles here. And looking at the symbol here, there is a right angle triangle. So first, I'm going to draw a right angle triangle. So, Okay, so this is my right angle triangle with the 90 degree symbol, the right angle symbol. So looking at this, something can be seen about this one. It's like I have turned this one to stand straight. Now look at this. This will be the longest side, 5 centimeters here. This will be this side, I can call it uh, opposite. This side, four, the standing one, and then the base, which is what there is. I can turn this to stand and then to look like this. Very good. This side can be turned. This is how it looks. It looks something like this. And something like, like, like this. Good. So I can turn it, make it straight for it to stand well. And then it will look something basically like this. So it means that the longest side, which is this, this side becomes our longest side. It's going to be five centimeters. Then our height, four centimeters. Then our base, three centimeters. Now I'm not done, so I'll still continue. Prism. So that way, that way. Good. Then, I'm going to have one right angle over here. So this one will also be 10 to 4 like that. So the longest side here, since this side is 5, that side is also 5. Then the B is, the B is here, 3. And then the same height, that is 4 centimeters. Now, this is one of the rectangles, this, this one, good, this one, this is one. This is two, this is three. Now, the length of each of the rectangle is eight, and this side happens to be the length. So, eight centimeters, eight centimeters. Good. Good. And then the base here, five, five. Then the triangle, we have longest side, five, four, three. Good. So, this is a complete prism that is for I. So I have been drawn very nicely and pretty. 
leave it here. So if any questions, you can put it in the comment section and I'll address that. Now I calculate the surface area of the triangular prism. Now how do we calculate the surface area of the triangular prism? The sum of the area of the cross section. Sum of the area of the cross sections. Now how many cross sections do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. There are five things. One, two, three, four, five. Let us identify them. This triangle and that triangle. Here they are. Triangle one, triangle two. Let's cut this rectangle. Where can we find that? That is this one. So look, this rectangle. This rectangle. Triangular prism, taking the idea of a roofing sheet. Yes, you take the shape of of triangular prism. So this side, I'll call it front face. Since it's facing me, I want to call this side front. It's facing me like that. Front face. Front face. Then, so that's one of the rectangles, this side. Then I have another face, which is the base. Here, falling down. So two, the second, which is this one. The second rectangle, I'll call it the base. It's at the bottom, the down. Then the third one is this one. This. Good. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I have all the cross section. I'm going to find the area of individual cross section and sum them together. First, I'm looking at area of the triangle. So area of triangles. The triangles are two. So whatever I get should be multiplied by two. So two bracket area of a triangle is half times base. Times height. So two times half. The base of this um, triangle is three. The height is the standing, the standing side, which is four. Two goes into four two times. So I have two brackets. One times three is three. Three times two is six. So two times six is twelve centimeters square. For the um, triangle. Now let me go to the front rectangle. So area of front rectangle. Basically it is length times width. So let's start the front. Here is the front that I'm talking about. This side. The length of it is 8 and the width is 5. So 8 times 5 is 40 centimeters square. Then next, I let me look at area of um, back side. That's the back side of the rectangle. My back side that I'm talking about is this side. That's this side. The side that is facing the other end. Good. So let's look at that one. Still 8 and 4. 8 and 4. So I have 8 times 4, that will give me 32 centimeters square. And the last one, the base, area of base, is also a rectangle. Let us look at the base, this one, this one. So that is 8 against 3, 8 against 3, good. So that is 8 times 3, that will give me 24 centimeters square. So I now find the area, um, total surface area, or surface area, the total surface area, I'm going to sum them up. The two triangles gave me 12 centimeters, rectangle of front gave me 40, back gave me 32, and base gave me 24. When I sum everything up, it's 108 centimeters squared, and you're good to go. This is a very beautiful, nice, trivial question for students. Good. It's also a question that is highly examinable in your BC. So thanks for watching. This is a Henry your humble tutor, and we are delighted to have you. Thank for the subscribers and the support. God bless you all. Have a nice evening. Bye.